It's Sunday, January 19th. I'm back out at the property and just wanted to show you real quick some of the, um, the positives associated with persimmon trees. Uh, this is a big learning for me. I don't know that much about persimmon trees. I'm going to research it some more. But uh, I was not aware that persimmons held onto their fruit this late into the winter. And it's definitely paying off as a good forage for the deer. I just showed you the, uh, the ground and how it was tore up. The deer are visiting this tree daily as fruits drop and they're, they're picking them up. So this is obviously a good food source for them this late into the winter. We've had a very hard winter so far in west central Indiana. Uh, a lot of cold temperatures and a lot of snow for, um, for this, this part of the country. So uh, it's, I think there's a lot of stress being put on the deer herd right now. So this is, I'm happy to see this food source and the deer utilizing it. In fact, I'm seeing more activity around this tree right now than I am in some of the food plots, which is a little disappointing for me. But um, Anyway, I wanted to illustrate uh, the importance of these persimmon trees and, and definitely a learning for me. Uh, so I wanted to share it with everybody. Uh, keep following our blog on allthingswhitetail.com. We are having a field day. It's scheduled for March the 8th. We have several guys already signed up for it. Um, we're going to do a property walk, look at buck beds, uh, staging areas, connecting trails, things of that sort. Uh, so I do appreciate everybody following along. Uh, hopefully we have good weather for March the 8th. And, um, Appreciate your time. Uh, keep checking us out at allthingswhitetail.com and follow us on Facebook.